So today I'll be covering how to sort arrays in Godot. Basically, I have this inventory variable, which is going to look a lot cleaner in your game because you're probably using custom resources, but literally just a dictionary entry for each item. I have like my apple, a sword, a shield, a rock, and I want to sort this inventory by the rarity of the items. So the way that we can sort this is by using the sort custom function, which I'm going to call from the ready function. So right here, I'm going to say inventory dot sort custom. And this function is available on the array class. So we can just call it like that. And all this requires is a custom sorter to be passed in as the single argument. We obviously don't have a custom sorter, so I'm going to make one down here. And a custom sorter is literally just a function, so I'm going to type func, and I'm going to call this one sort by rarity. Now, the only requirements for a custom sorter is that it needs to have two arguments. So the first one is going to just be called A, and the second one is going to be called B. We don't really need to statically type these because the entries of the array could be really any type. So we can just leave it like this, and then we'll open this function up. Now, inside of here, the logic is actually really straight forward. But basically, the custom sorter is going to compare two items from the array at a time, the first item being A and the second item being B. Now, inside of this function, if we return true, that means we want to keep the order of A and B, which would mean A is before B in the array. Now, contrary to that, if we return false, that's basically just flipping the order. So returning false from this function would mean that we want to put B in front of A, which is essentially changing the order. So inside of this function, again, all we have to do is just return true or false depending on the comparison between A and B. So obviously that comparison is gonna be the rarity. And because I'm using a dictionary here, I'm gonna type it like this. So I'll say if A dot rarity is greater than the rarity of B, then that's the correct order. So I'm just gonna return true. Now else, which means that's not the case, we will return false. And this is really all we need. Now, because this is just a basic expression here, I can actually shorten this code quite a bit. So instead of doing an if else statement, I could literally just say return A is greater than B and then delete this whole chunk. So now that we have a custom sorter created, I can just copy the name of it, paste it inside the sort custom function. And when line 12 runs from the ready function, it's going to sort my inventory with the sort by rarity function. So I'm also going to print the array after I sort it just so we can visualize this. And let me actually add like a new line right here. If you guys don't know, you can do backslash n to make a new line for outputs. But running this, you can see in my output, I have my unsorted array. And now in my sorted array, they're in descending order according to the rarity of the item. Now as listed on the documentation, you can also make a really simple sort by name sorter using this natural no case CMP to function, which is actually kind of a mouthful, but if you look at the documentation, you can kind of understand how this works. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but this function will basically sort the items by name instead. So running this, you can see in the bottom left, we have apple, rock, shield, and sword, obviously in alphabetical order. And because you can go as complex as you want with a custom sorter, we can also combine these two functions. So like in this case, merging the two sorters, I'm just doing a really quick check. If the rarity of A and B is the exact same, then I'm just gonna sort by name. Otherwise, I'm sorting by rarity. And this would be the case for like, if you had two items that were the same rarity. So running this one, you can see that it does insert the apple before the rock because Apple starts with A. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. So I hope you learned something new. I want to do a quick shout out to all the channel supporters over on Patreon and also on YouTube members. And exclusive shout outs go to Denied Works and Jar or Jer Larks and also Randall Lassini. Thank you guys so much for all your support. If you want to help support the channel, obviously check out the links in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more Godot content, obviously check out my channel. I have a ton of Godot tutorials and stuff, but I will see you guys in the next one.